So how would you feel if an unexplainable machine learning algorithm made a decision that impacted your life? You probably wouldn't feel very comfortable. Machine learning has proven very performant at predicting outcomes. The more advanced deep neural networks are complex structures, where data undergoes several transformations through layers of nodes, matrix multiplications, and nonlinear activation functions. It is nearly impossible to understand all these transformations. And for this reason, we say that accuracy comes with the cost of transparency. That is, these models do not provide any explanations as to why they give their predictions. So how can we trust such models? Well, if you're trying to classify pictures of cats on internet, maybe explanations and trust is not so important. But for more regulated, regulated applications, such as finance or healthcare, machine learning models which cannot provide any explanation cannot be used. So for example, if an algorithm decides if I'm eligible for a loan and that I get rejected from that loan, then I'll want to know the reasons as to why I got rejected. And for this, I need explainable AI. So today, faculty is building its own explainability methods, which it will deploy with its own machine learning models. And so this is a very exciting time. So good afternoon. I'm Edwards. I did my project with faculty. And to help with this, uh, this ambitious challenge, I was asked to audit an NLP classifier. But before, I need to build an NLP classifier. And so it comes in Company Watch. Company Watch is a financial analytics company which predicts corporate insolvency based on company annual records. Company Watch is very interested in the outcome of this project, and so they have provided me with over a decade's worth of company reports on which I optimized and trained several NLP classifiers. We now have a good framework to experiment exp explainability methods. So Lime is one of the best tools out there for explainability. It is a model agnostic method. This means it could be applied to any classifier. Lime shows us which parts of the text are the most important towards a certain class. And to do that, it perturbs, it makes copies of like different documents and perturbs the text which is inside. The auditing model is then probed for the corresponding predictions and Lime then fits an easier, more interpretable classifier to this generated data set. This easier classifier is more transparent, and by looking at the inner workings of this classifier, I can understand which parts of the text are the most important. So let's see how this works on our data set. In this first example, this company has been classified as being insolvent. 2011 turned out to be yet another challenging year for the company with operating losses stabilizing at the same level as shown in 2010. So here we can see, thanks to Lime, that the classifier correctly picks up on the negative words of a sentence. But this is an easy example. Like the author is explicitly saying that things are bad, and usually things are a bit more subtle. So let's try a harder example. Turnover, gross profit, and management of overheads are the key performance indicators that the directors focus upon with an objective to grow both of the first two measures and control the third. So here, grow is a word which has a very positive meaning. But in this context, objective to grow implies that things are going badly. So here, thanks to Lime, we see that our classifier picks up on this subtle meaning. Here's another example of a company which has been misclassified as being insolvent. An auditor company, which name we have hidden from the text, is repeatedly mentioned throughout that text causing a negative contribution to a final outcome. So this is wrong. Like, a company name should be neutral. So after removing this name from the data set and retraining our model, this text was correctly classified. So Company Watch has identified and removed this source of bias, but it was a very time-consuming process. By using explainability, we can improve our models by detecting quickly these sources of bias. But we're still missing something here. Lime only shows explanations which are in the text, but the machine learning model also considers what is not there. For example, if the word finance is present in my data set but is absent from a document, then the fact that finance is absent from that document should, contrib should contrib contribute sorry, to it being classified as solvent. So to solve this issue, I developed a modified version of Lime, where instead of perturbing the text, I perturb the post-process features directly. So let's see how this works. In this example, the explanation, the explanation shows us that the words in the text do not provide any like, strong information about the class -ish for this document should tend to. But by using the modified version of Lime, we see that it's actually the words which are not in the text which contribute the most for this text to be solvent. So to summarize, 
I've built several NLP classifiers which predict corporate insolvency, and I've developed a new method for explaining these classifications. So, explainable AI is still a young technology, but a promising one. And today, I hope that I've convinced you that it can help you increase your trust in a model's prediction. They can also improve existing models by rapidly detecting sources of bias. And finally, that can give you a better understanding about how machine learning models work. Thank you very much.